Mike, we're at Ward CNC today and you've supplied this chuck. Now, this is not just any old chuck. Tell me about this chuck. This is an old country chuck as opposed to a normal lathe chuck. This is a 500 millimeter chuck. On a normal standard lathe chuck, the bore would be 190. On this one, it's been opened up to 320. So you utilize the bore. So in regards to utilizing the bore, um, is, 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 is that something that you would look to do on this kind of lathe? Yes, because of the type of work pieces that are coming in, large pipes, we need to have a bore that's big enough to cope with it. And do you have a lot, do they come in a large range? Yes, this is a three-jaw self-centering version. Um, they go up to 660. We also do four-jaw independent versions as well, one of which is around the back, which is used to stabilise the workpiece as well. That was my next question. The four-jaw independent at the back of the machine, that's stabilising the workpiece so it yeah. keeps it rigid? It's keeping it held while it's going round. It gives you extra gripping. And would you also put, look to put a four-jaw independent on the front spindle as well? It also it, well, it depends on the quality of the workpiece coming in. If it's like pre-machined or it's a good quality tube, you can go with a standard three-jaw self-centering. But when it's uh, somewhat different or somewhat oval, then you can go with an independent. With the oil and gas industry picking up and the applications that come along with that, are you finding that you're selling more of these chucks? Yes, we've been approached on this kind of chuck by a lot of companies now. And do you supply specials? Specials, yes, of course, we can open up. Just work with us, tell us what you need, we can accommodate.